babies to a Sims 4 cast video. Hi guys, we are starting off with this mermaid cast video that my dear friend Melissa, hey Millie, aka Nikki, <laughs> For me to do so of course I said sure let's go ahead and start this and so I started to go ahead and do a little research and I started looking at videos on mermaids just to see what everybody else was doing so I could do it a little different of course I came across Nia y'all know how I am niece Lex I think that's her name video and she did a good versus evil mermaid cast video and I was intrigued so I decided to go with something similar but not like that so I did go ahead and create two sims and they are cousins their name is Annabella and Marbella now before I jump into their backstory I do want to shout out to the amazing creators of The Sims 4. When I tell you this right here is hard work, it is. And to have so many talented Sim 4 creators out there, it is amazing. I stumbled across some of them yesterday because I was just, you know, like I said, doing my typical thing, you know, watching Sims 4 videos. And then I stumbled across a couple of them. And I just couldn't help myself but really just sit there and just talk you know let them know like y'all are doing your thing so you know I'm just gonna shout some of them out and I will link their name in description so y'all got so you guys can see their video and it's Siri Sim Studio they did an amazing job on this vampire and mermaid love story I suggest you go check that out also I you know I pro you probably heard Jolly Simmer again but yes, she did, and I love her cast videos. You should have, you should probably know this because I did a, I think an Ugly to Beauty challenge, and that was inspired by her. I also went by Pixelate Twigs. She did an amazing, uh, she showed these amazing storylines about a calendar girl cast. I love that. And she did this, uh, and you should also check out her bill. She did this bill also. It's like in StrangerVille. You know how I feel about StrangerVille. I love me some StrangerVille. And also a couple of people that I did. Um, Marel, Jung, Wild, Free. If I'm not pronouncing your name right, I'm sorry. Uh, Passifloria, Sam Alien, Pixie, Pixie, Anna, Ariana, Sha Sims. She's French. That's cute. Uh, Chrissy Corner. And I want to say Put Riss Sims and Jules. They are good ones. Go check them out. I really advise y'all to go check them out. So, back to where I want to start from. We are at 21 subscribers. And guys, I am very excited. So, of course, I am going to do a giveaway. I just want you to let me know in the bottom what Sims 4 stuff pack or other packs that you probably don't have or would like to see and we're gonna do on my next video I am gonna ask you guys a question and you have to go to one of my um, socials that's linked at the bottom to apply but guys I'm gonna ask you a question you have to be on one of my socials and you have to get the questions right okay and one of you guys will be a winner for our 20 subs okay <laughs> now let's get back to this backstory with these girls so this is Annabella and Marbella. Annabella is our good sim. Next door is basically their parents. Their parents were sisters, and Annabella's mom was their her, their grandmother's favorite. She took her time with teaching her about the path of mermaid um, and how to become the best in the in a good mermaid. Um, she was raised on an island with her mom and her grandmama and had a wonderful life. Right? So Annabella mother had a wonderful life. Now. Marbella mother didn't. Marbella mother was so full of rage because she had to sit back and she felt like she was living in captivity. She watched her mom favor her sister. She was always left out. Her mother always put her um, last. So growing up, she just she started to see that her tail was growing darker, and she didn't understand why her tail was growing darker. But her tail was growing darker because she had hate in her heart. She really had hate in her heart towards her mother and her sister. So Marbella was grow, grew up around hatred. 
And the reason that being because her mother never really um, felt love. She didn't know what love was. So when her mother met her father before she was conceived, she didn't understand that the more he hit her, the more he cheated, the more he left her stranded, even when she was pregnant, she didn't understand that that was not right. So when she had Marbella and, you know, she started seeing these things that he was doing, you know, she just felt like this is not right. I do not want my daughter to grow up with this. This man is really doing too much to me. So, you know, just one day she snapped. She snapped and she killed him right in front of her. You know, so that anger, that anger just taught Mar Marabella, I don't trust men, I don't trust anyone, right? So, growing up, the only person that she trusts was her mother. And together, they grew this lovely lullaby. They drew people in and men in, basically, and killed them. They would draw them in with their lullabies. And, you know, Annabella Mama did not stand this. She, she couldn't stand it. She was like, I, I got to get my sister. So she went over there. She tried to talk to her sister. She tried to stop her. But while she was trying to stop her, you know, Marabella mother, with all this hate that she had towards her, she killed her. She killed her sister. And Marabella could not take that, you know, because... Even though her mother had so much hate, Annabella mother loved Marabella. She tried to groom her. She tried to be there for her. She tried to get her from that dark path that her mom had tried to put in her. And she knew that that lady loved her. So when she saw her mother kill her aunt, the one of the per, one of the people that lives that helps her through so much stuff. She just didn't understand what was going on with her. She picked up a dagger and she drew it right in her mother's heart. Doing that, that made Marabella tail and heart grow so dark. So she instantly took herself left. And so therefore, the only way people knew that she was still living is from her beautiful songs and that her cousin knew who she was. So this is the story of these good and evil mermaid. And guys, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe and do all those YouTube things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.